elaborate for me, Larry, in, in the sense that both fighters are going to throw a lot and land a lot? Yeah, they're going to be close to each other, throwing a lot of punches, uh, and as the fight goes on, it's going to become a battle of attrition. Diaz opens with a hook to the body. And already Cotto is unloading a lot of punches. He has begun to throw from the opening bell, starting to use his jab to try to penetrate Diaz's guard. Diaz has responded by basically focusing to the body early, Lennox. Definitely. Uh, focusing on the body early, definitely. He, what he's really doing is just testing them out, trying different punches, seeing where he can actually have a, have a good effect. And there's not too much you can learn until you go out there and throw a lot of punches in the first round. Diaz has had a nine-month stretch of inactivity, the longest of his career. Looks a little bit looser around the belly than in previous appearances in front of us, at least. Cotto, who appears to be in terrific shape, has already thrown a lot of punches in round one. Now you see exactly what Larry Merchant was talking about. These guys are going to get closer and closer to one another, and they're both going to throw. There's a hard right hand over the top by Diaz. Cotto's instinct is to want to retaliate immediately. He throws a right and a left. Now lands his own right hand over the top. This is, this is power boxer punching. And Diaz hasn't really gotten off in the first round the way we've seen him in previous bouts with that prolific style. Either Cotto's early aggression has put Diaz a little bit more firmly into his own envelope, or Diaz simply has decided that he isn't going to throw 90 punches around anymore, and maybe he's going to try to focus on the delivery, delivering a little bit more power in each shot. Two body shots by Diaz, he goes back upstairs. Cotto seemingly very comfortable with his back against the ropes, throwing in combination as he has from the beginning. Diaz is definitely, definitely mounting the attack. He oh. wants to get in there and fight. He throws some good right hands. He's actually caught Cotto with a couple right hands. Well, he's caught on the and floor. Caught him with a left hook. Yeah, he's not a big puncher, Lennox, if you haven't seen him before. But he is a volume puncher and an accurate puncher. And the second half of the first round is way more like the one Diaz we've seen before, as he starts to let his hands go very freely. Cotto is another fighter who has shown you from the opening bell he wants to let his hands go as well. Both boxers are keeping the defense as tight as possible. Cotto has already gotten credit for throwing 133 punches in the first round. Make it 135. Make it 137. That's an astonishing first round for Jose Cotto who wound up throwing 139 punches. Miguel Diaz, or excuse me, Juan Diaz, threw 62 punches and looked inactive by comparison. The, the definitely setting the pace for the fight, and that's what we need to do. Go out there and establish a pace, and you know, this is something that we're going to be looking forward to the next few rounds. They speak Spanish in Diaz's corner. His trainer is his uncle, Evangelista Dakota. The, the left hand, be, be careful. When he comes near you, open up. Lower yourself and up, and make sure you counter punch real good. Come on, give me the bucket. He has landed a number of hard rights, hard punches to the body, and here's a left hook that he landed right at the end of the round, right there, right on top. Jose Cotto, as I mentioned, threw 139 punches in the round, only landed 19 of them, but 15 of 84 power shots. When you throw 139 punches and double your opponent's output, you're probably going to win the round on most cards. You saw that Harold Letterman gave the round to Cotto. Ronnie Shields told Juan Diaz between rounds, throw uppercuts. One of your favorite punches, Lennox. Why does he want to see the uppercut? The uppercut, I think that's where he feels that Cotto's more receptive. He's definitely going to get caught with uppercuts because what he does is when he's trying to move, right hand. Good counter right hand by Diaz. He does that very well. Very yeah, and it looked like he just took off a little quarter step to the side and just dropped it right in. Just the left hook to the body by Cotto. Clearly he doesn't dig the left hook to the body quite the same way his younger brother does. That's one of the bigger weapons in the sport. 
Miguel Cotto's left hook to the body. Jose Cotto is just busier than his brother and fights at a much faster pace. When we asked him uh, about his style, he said his brother is uh, boxes more than he does. And he is a uh, to his word. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's starting to make some terrific contact, particularly the right hand. Larry told you he's an accurate puncher, and you're, I think you're seeing that, Lennox. Yeah. He's definitely putting pressure on Cordo. I think he feels that if he puts him against the rules, he has another chance. Why does Cotto want to be there? Cotto seems like he's comfortable there. Yeah, he he, he's, he's got those kind of short arms and he can shoot the old punches for him. I mean, his back's not totally against the ropes. He's, he's just close to the ropes. This is going to be a very hard fight to score. Judges are going to have to try to determine who is it who is really landing in quality amid all the large worries of punches that are being thrown. Then you might get some judges that's gonna really say, well, you know, Diaz is putting on the pressure, he's putting the fight to hold up, you know, maybe we should score for him. That's why I think you wanted to back him up into the ropes. Yeah. If the other guy's gonna throw 130 punches, I'd rather have him throw him with his back against the ropes than in the center of the ring. Diaz is starting to do a better job of blocking punches with his elbows around the body. tremendously effective effects microphones in the ring, you can hear that Diaz has a kind of a Monica Sellis grunt when he throws his punches. He's definitely throwing the punches with a lot of steam. Sound effects. Ah! 